Bye. We're back on the 5 a.m. grind. Let's go. Oh my God, the truck is leaving already. Incredible. Time to go unload some produce or something. I'm tired. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hello, good evening. It's um like 6.46 p.m. Um, it's pretty much bedtime. It's bedtime. I... <sighs> work today was totally fine. We were a little bit understaffed, so the morning was like... The morning was kind of hectic. But overall, it was a pretty good Monday. Not super busy in the store, but steady. I feel like there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I just, I just feel like... I feel like I had things, I feel like I had things I wanted to talk about. I'm babysitting a little bit this week, starting tomorrow. Uh, I'm going after work to my babysitting family's house. Um, but I've put very hard <laughs> deadlines on when I am available because I'm not going to be, I, I'm not playing games. I'm going to be so tired. So that'll be fun. Um, I get to hang out with my baby for a little bit. And then I'm taking the big kids to camp on Wednesday and Thursday, which will be fun. Then I really have to start prepping for the beach. Got to get all my shit together. We'll do a little pack with me later this week. We've decided that we're going to go to H Mart before we leave town. So there will be a little H Mart shopping on Sunday, I think. With Lee and I, that'll be fun. I'm just sleepy. I took my melatonin. I played some video games, which I haven't done in days. That was fun. Um, I started. Um, I started the The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson on audiobook, and I ha it literally lives next to my bed. But that book is so thick, it's very intimidating. So I figured an audiobook might be good. Like if I'm working in the box, like the fridge behind the milk at work, if I'm working in there, I can listen to the book and just like zone out, which will be good. Um, yeah, today was a good day. I'm not so like... I don't know. I'm not so um, bad about waking up for these shifts. It's it's still hard because I'm not a morning person, but it's kind of nice to like get up, work, be done, and then I get to go to bed now. And it's not weird that I'm going to bed now because I have to be up in like actually eight hours <laughs> to leave again to go to work. So so I like going to bed early actually. <laughs> It is like a little weird because my family is like just getting together to eat dinner. And I was like, see, uh, I warmed up some leftovers and ate just so I am not super hungry in the morning and going to bed right now. So it's kind of hard because I don't get to hang out with them too, too much. But it is also kind of nice to just be done and not have to interact anymore. Oh, I've become re-obsessed with Horimiya, which is another anime that is that holds my heart. Um, <laughs> I love Horimiya. And uh, there's new Horimiya content out. So I'm re-watching season one. And I don't think it's like a season two, but it's like a secondary part of the show. So I'm going to watch that too. I'm going to watch that when I'm done with season one so i might watch like another episode before i fall asleep but otherwise i'm done for the day good night
having some baby time. He's sick. My little baby. Hello. Good evening. It's Tuesday. I think. <laughs> it's Tuesday. One of my coworkers today really pissed me off. And then I turned my attitude around. Um, it wasn't easy, but I did it. <laughs> and then... I went and hung out with Ben this afternoon, my baby. <sighs> if you don't know, I was a nanny for like a year and a half before I started working at Trader Joe's full time. But I've been with this same family for like eight years now. Um, so I haven't seen them in a while and I finally got to see them today. Um, just the baby though. Like the oldest one is eight and a half <laughs> so I've been him with him since he was six months old the second boy is six <laughs> is six and the baby he's just about to be three but he's my baby forever I held him literally the day he came home from the hospital like that's my baby you know <laughs> Um, I got to hang out with him today. He's a little sicky, so he's been home from daycare and stuff, and his dad's been staying with him, but he needed to go do some things. So I was happy to go over and hang out with my baby for a little while. He was so puny. I loved it. It was great. Because he just wanted to be, like, on top of me the whole time. He was just no so snuggly. We watched some cartoons. He fell asleep, took a little nap right here i love him so much i feel bad that he feels so sick but i'm happy that he's getting to stay home and just feel better yeah it was a real treat to hang out with him today and then tomorrow i'll see the big kids that's exciting i haven't seen them in so long so i'm kind of excited to see them i think that's it i already took my melatonin i'm obviously showered cleaned i'm not sure if i'm going to work tomorrow I'm going to be honest. I'm not positive that I'm going. I'm kind of leaning towards um, like using my paid time off, my PTO, if you will, um, and just like getting some shit done tomorrow. I really need to clean my car out for this beach trip. I need to take a bunch of clothes to be donated. Um, I got gas today, so that's done. I need to... I honestly might take my car to the dealership and just have them check my oil. I checked it today and it seemed fine, but I like really want to make sure that it's good since I'm driving and it's like a four-hour trip. I think I'll also pop into Barnes & Noble and pick up that planner that I scouted a few weeks ago. I haven't gotten it yet. So I think I'll go get that. Tomorrow's going to be like a really, like like a big errands day. And hopefully on Thursday, uh, I can not be out and about as much and more here packing. We'll do a little pack together, you know. I don't, I just realized though that I don't have any shorts for this trip. Like I've got bike shorts, but I don't have denim shorts. So I guess it's ripped jeans. <laughs> I'm like seriously lacking in the denim department for real I might have to try again with the Abercrombie jeans because I got those one jeans a while ago but they were way too big but otherwise I think they were going to be really perfect so I just need to like redo my measurements or go into the store or something and like stop playing games um and I need to just like buy some jeans and maybe if they have a short sale at the end of the summer I'll get a pair or two just to like have some shorts <laughs> because I don't have any anymore yeah I think that's it we're just I'm just in beach prep mode really I'm checked out right here <laughs> I am checked out uh Friday and Saturday I work and that's gonna be it you know it's gonna be a great week <laughs> um yeah <laughs> I'm tired I already took my melatonin it's time to go to sleep I can't I can't function anymore alright good night in conclusion never take your car to get 
looked at at all. Dumb. <laughs> oh my God. I took my car, I thought it was leaking oil, right? And I've had this problem with my oil for a while, but I literally checked it yesterday and it was fine. Okay. I saw this like oil puddle under my car or whatever. I wanted to take it in today to make sure it's all okay since I'm driving to the beach next week. Okay. $300 later. <laughs> I just got paid and my money is gone. <laughs> It's fine. Got my tires realigned, rotated, and what's the other thing? Balanced, okay? It's necessary. Apparently I hadn't had an alignment in like 40,000 miles, so I guess it should be done. Whatever. I hate cars, I hate them. <laughs> So as a treat, I'm here at Barnes and Noble, okay? We're gonna go in and I'm gonna get a book because I want one. <sighs> I hate cars. <sighs> I hate cars, okay. Let's go to Barnes and Noble and forget this ever happened. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay barnes and noble is done i was in there for like an hour and a half <laughs> dilly dallying um i had a great time i will go over the final purchases when i get home um now we're gonna go to a thrift store to drop off some clothes um there's one that i really like that's close to here at the mall uh it's not so close when i'm at home so i'm gonna go drop off the clothes that i organized uh, the, or the, that i like sorted and pulled out of my closet forever ago i'm finally gonna go drop those up and then we're gonna go home i'm gonna clean my car and i'm gonna rest because i'm tired <laughs> very tired now <laughs> interacting all morning is like so hard for me at, like ugh, starting my day with human interaction oh Actually, I think I have to go babysit. Oops, I don't know what time it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I stopped at a little like taco stand on my way back to babysitting, which I was a little bit late. <laughs> um, but I stopped at a little taco stand and got a, they had a special for uh, Huit La Coche Quesadillas, which are like the corn fungus stuff. And these are so good. <laughs> Bless roadside taquerias, you know? And of course, <laughs> had to get an horchata. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's also nice. Mm hmm That's also good. Horchata with la coche quesadilla. I'm I'm like in heaven right now. This was a perfect lunch. I was starving. So happy. Ben's watching airplanes. So <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Why do they make these impossible to peel off? Do you see this? This shouldn't be real. This shouldn't be real. It should come right off. I don't want this sticker on my planner. Hello, good evening. It's, I don't know, like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, sorry for the late check-in. Uh, I just came home. So I was a teensy bit late <laughs> to babysitting, but I got some really good Cuid La Coche quesadillas. So good. They were so good. They were so good. Um, it was like a perfect lunch today. And spending time with Ben was nice. I cooked dinner. Then I left and I smelled like beef. I mean, it was gross. <laughs> I hate smelling like meat when I cook it for other people. I don't eat it. Ugh. Oh my god. It was so gross. Um, I came home and I just talked to my mama for a while. Um, we haven't like just sat on the couch after a work day and talked, so it was nice to talk to her. Let's see, we have to do the haul. I'm so sleepy, sorry. Now, obviously, I went to Barnes & Noble and I got the planner that I scouted out like literally a month ago. I'm so glad I got one. <laughs> Can't wait to fill it up with junk. I think I'm gonna use it as a hybrid planner slash journal in um the pages which i'll probably show in more depth tomorrow in the like weekly pages there's a work section and a life section so i'm thinking i'll probably do like more of my actual planning in the work section up top and then i'll like do a little bit of journaling every day i feel like that'll help me be consistent with journaling again just having like a place to write a few lines about the day um but otherwise the pages are also like have just like other great features so I'll talk about this tomorrow and probably show it in more detail. I did end up being able to drop off the clothes that I needed to donate. I got those donated. Happy about that. Got my tacos. Got my car taken care of. Can't believe I spent $300 on my car. I like can't afford to do that. Um, <laughs> It's fine. Um, there was a new, there was a Honkai Star Rail update today that I played like all day long. If I had any downtime, I was playing and it was, it was wild. 
it was wild i loved it i loved it i loved i loved the new story bits that we got so happy with it i got distracted the next part of the haul the actual books that i purchased you watched me read a chapter of each of them in the cafe in barnes noble i was just trying to like i was trying to decide what i was getting because i had four books plus the planner there was also a hardcover book that i wanted to get i'm really interested to read the witch king by martha wells um but hardcovers are 30 dollars my wallet doesn't agree with that um also i was already buying the planner which was like 30 bucks so i didn't want a hard cover so instead i got two soft cover books <laughs> um but it only ended up costing another 30 bucks so it wasn't too bad i was deciding between a bunch of things this is what i was trying to say uh, so distracted i was trying to decide between a bunch of things so you saw me read the first chapter of each of these but I had also grabbed two volumes that I thought were manga and turned out to be novels. <laughs> and I really was interested in picking up like a couple of new volumes of manga, but they didn't have the any ones that I was really interested in. And when I found some that I was interested in, they were just novels. And I didn't really want novels. I wanted pictures <laughs> so so no manga for me that like ruled out those two right away and then it was just easy to make this decision to get these two paperbacks so first we have the secret service of tea and treason by india holton this is a book about two people that are spies it's in like I don't know what is that called like um you know like Bridgerton style era <laughs> like the the girl spy the woman spy <laughs> is a lady's maid and the male man spy is the um is like a butler for somebody so <laughs> they're like assigned to separate missions they're actually like rivals in the spy industry and then they have to work together and be married you know so hijinks and love ensue i assume look i needed beach reads and uh this is going to be a perfect beach read also look at the color can you even tell i have like a pink light over here can you even tell how absolutely stunning this cover the like the colors on this cover are obsessed i'm obsessed i love covers like this which is probably why i was also drawn to this book same publishers i assume the same cover artist i'll verify that one day maybe possibly this book is called a witch's guide to fake dating a demon <laughs> which is right up my you're speaking my language with that title <laughs> the author is sarah hawley I am very much looking forward to reading this book. When I read the first chapter, it basically ends on her summoning the demon in question. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. It's a fake, obviously a fake dating trope, turning into real dating and love and all that kind of stuff. So can't wait to read that. Look, I got two perfect beach reads. These will be devoured Oceanside promptly next week okay maybe even inside because i'm gonna try not to read them i read the first chapter of both but i'm gonna try not to read them anymore that'll be a struggle because i really want to actually <laughs> um i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna return my library books tomorrow and just like give up <laughs> i just haven't been in the mood i want to read everything but my library books so Maybe I'll go drop them off and just not even think about it anymore and read books that I own slash have on Kindle. <laughs> I think that's where we're at. I just, I need to lower the number of books that are available to me right now and then I can move from there. And then I think I'll, I'll limit myself to one book checked out from the library per three week period because maybe I'll read it. <laughs> I'm a mess. Anyway today was kind of good kind of bad car cars suck i hate it <laughs> i don't want a car 
Um, whatever. I got some fun things. I'm happy. Had a great lunch. Had a good breakfast. Had a nice day. Tomorrow is a little more the same. We've got babysitting in the morning. Then I come home and I, I'm actually going to clean my car out tomorrow. Today, my day got away from me, obviously. <laughs> But tomorrow I'm going to clean up my car. I don't know if Sam and I are recording. I'm really not sure. Um, So we'll figure it out. And then that's really all I've got. (laughs) I'm going to go to bed. That's the only plan. (laughs) I'm sleepy. I got to get up and babysit at like 6.30 tomorrow. So no sleeping in for me ever. (laughs) Thanks. (laughs) All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. You know when little kids wake, like take a really long nap and then wake up and then they drink like 12 gallons of water when you hand them a cup, they like drain it? That's me right now. I'm drier than the Sahara. Sorry if you hear the fan, it's an ungodly temperature in my bedroom. Also, sorry, it's dark. I don't want to turn my light on. Big lights? Never. Mm -mm. Literally, unless it's pitch black in here, I don't turn the big light on. Um, What's up? I took a nap this afternoon.
incredible absolutely stunning loved it felt so good <laughs> i don't know when i'm gonna go to bed now though although i'm getting sleepy already so <laughs> i'll probably fall asleep soon um today has been quite enjoyable i babysat had a wax appointment this morning that was sick hurt <laughs> I get my armpits waxed and it's kind of the best. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of the best. <laughs> Love a smooth pit. You know, those anime girls you like, they wax their armpits. What can I tell you? I did shopping at Trader Joe's, got a little discount for my family. And then I came home. I played so much Honkai this afternoon, Honkai Star Rail. Uh, there was a new update yesterday and there's like a lot of stuff to do. I finished the whole story yesterday. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, so I'll be waiting for content forever, but I'm building some new characters, having a lot of fun. It's great. Then I took my nap, empty the dishwasher, which you saw. I don't know. Then I've been here. I'm hanging out with Lindsay right now. <laughs> One of my favorite people on planet Earth, <laughs> twitch.tv slash olindsay. She'll be linked down below. I love Lindsay. Highly recommend. A treat and a treasure. Such a cool person and a kind person. Wow, she's the best. Sorry. <laughs> I love her. I'm gonna go see her in September. I can't wait. I can't wait to see all my friends. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, where are we at? For the rest of the evening, I have no plans. Really. I meant to clean out my car today and didn't quite get there. So I might do that tomorrow morning because I've got some time. So I think that'll be the plan. Tomorrow morning, I'll clean out my car. I like desperately want a matcha latte right now. But if I make a matcha... I definitely won't sleep and I still need to sleep tonight, you know, so that's just what I'll have in the morning. I'm just going to have a matcha starting the day, right? Matcha on deck. Can't wait. Um, anything else? Oh, I you saw me make my little pouches. I made one for my planner and I made one for, um, annotating. Yeah. I'm going to try to be an annotation girly. Sometimes I feel weird about writing in my books, but also they're mine. I can totally write them. Like literally, I think unless it's like a collector's edition of a book, I'll probably write in it. Who cares? If I donate it one day, somebody will like it. You know, I love when I get, when I buy a used book and it's got someone's annotations in it. I think it's great. Highly enjoyable. So... If you have any questions about the products that are in my pencil cases or the pencil cases or anything, you can leave a comment and I'll, I'll link it for you because I am truly a pen and highlighter snob and pencil. I love pencils, pens, highlighters, writing utensils in general. I'm your girly, okay? I love it. So I have all the recommendations. I will link you ev literally everything I use. I will not gatekeep the best writing utensils. I think that's it. It's like 8.30. Feeling like it's almost time for bed, but I'm trying to get my room to cool down. Hence, ceiling fan's on, floor fan is on, and the door is open. Because with three exterior walls in this room that are poorly insulated, it's very hard to keep this room the same temperature as the rest of the house. It's usually a solid five to ten degrees warmer in here than the rest of my house L noticeably cooler when you walk out the door it's like a wall of cold air out there so and i'm someone who overheats of course so this is the worst room i could be in in my house but my sister has my old bedroom <laughs> so whatever <laughs> all right i just wanted to give you a little update oh i also today at work got this sunscreen is apparently like the TikTok girlies favorite um but I've never tried it and I need some to specifically take to the beach like I want a full bottle to take to the beach so I'll be bringing that I'm probably gonna pick up a couple body sunscreens too we've got like the good spray sunscreen so 
I'll probably pick up a couple of those for the beach for everyone, not just for me. Um, yeah, Lee and I are going shopping on Sunday, though, so maybe we'll stop at the TJ's, pick up the things really quick, even though Sunday at TJ's is, like, not ideal. Or I'll collect the list on Saturday and buy on Saturday. Mm, we'll see. That's the plan for this evening. I'm just gonna chill, hang out with Lindsay. She's playing Tears of the Kingdom. And while I don't want to be spoiled, I'm less worried about small things in this game, because I won't remember, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So just gonna hang out with my friends i miss them and then maybe read i don't know what i'm reading right now honestly i have to be real i'm not sure what book is like holding my attention i think i'm gonna read more magnolia parks i haven't read it since the weekend but it was really nice to read that book like i'm i really enjoyed the beginning i like the kind of tension they're building in the romance from jump so i want to see how this resolves how it plays out and like who is actually the main love interest? Like, where does this relationship go? It sounds bad to me. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to read that. Just hang out maybe with my mom. Although they watch shows in the evening, my mom and dad, so I won't bother them. I do need to shower and wash my hair. You know, I got shit to do, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, leave me your anime recs in the in the comments as well. I'm, I need new things to watch because I'm burning through a lot of shows right now. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later.
Sunday. We're at the U-Haul today because apparently we're moving storage places right now. <laughs> so I've got about 12 million things to do today still to get ready for the beach. And here I am at the storage unit, but this should be over shortly. <laughs> I say shortly, but in like two or three hours. We have uh, a hard stop apparently today. So, <sighs> thank God. Um, yeah, Lee and I are going to H Mart later. I'll make sure you get to see that. And uh, I think that's all. Like, you know, I already did my pre-packing yesterday. Hopefully that footage makes it in here if it's not too awful. Um, I did my pre-packing yesterday. I'm really not going to change anything because I don't care if I have too many outfits because like I'm going to the beach. Um, <laughs> I'll probably change outfits twice a day like from shorts and a tank top to like sweatpants and a t-shirt or whatever just like as I heat up or cool down throughout the day plus swimwear whatever you know like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so that'll be fun <laughs> later but for right now we're not gonna have any fun <laughs> I'm just putting things in boxes getting things on a truck with my dad and sister so it's gonna be sick <sighs> all right let's move some shit like I do this all the time at work <laughs> I don't want to do it now. I'm like really being a baby about it, but I'm getting over it. I'm gonna fucking, I've been on a renaissance kick, listening to Beyonce's renaissance. That's helping, it's helping a lot. Okay, bye. I'm here with Lee. We're at H Mart. We've just finished our shop for our beach trip. Three hundred dollars <laughs> later, I think we're ready. Oops! <laughs> but we did get some treats. We got some beverages for the car, right? Lee got lovely a matcha strawberry latte. Delicious, delightful. Yeah. We love it. Also, we match unintentionally. I showed up like this. Lee was already dressed. I. I what can we say? I got just a mango yogurt drink, but <laughs> can open it. It's a literally baby. a baby bottle. <laughs> you are a baby. You can't open it. I love these. They're so good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we finished. We ready for the beach tomorrow. Woo! Woo, let's go. Okay, bye.
finally here. We moved everything from our old storage units to a new storage unit in a different place. And that took five hours. Um, I'm a little sunburnt, you know. She's still cute, but sunburnt. Like, I didn't need to get sunburnt before the beach. It's fine. Next, Lee and I went to H Mart. Uh, that was a treat and a half. Loved it. It was too busy, though. We were both, like, trying to get out of there so fast. Um, we spent way too much money on what will amount to delicious groceries. And, you know, that's okay. We're just going to be a little frugal while we're at the beach. <laughs> Exciting stuff. <laughs> um, I brought home some books that I'm excited about so I can actually read some things on my shelves. Cool, 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 cool. Those are all put up and away. Stuff that I took out of my old bedside table that I brought inside, that's been put away. I actually have a little bit of stuff left in this like in this one bag, but I'm not sure if I want to deal with that before my trip. I'll just stick it in the closet. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. I'm just going to put it in the closet. Um I've packed my suitcase. I've gotten my toiletries together. I have all of my sunscreen, oils, aloe, all of that's together. I've got my hair products ready to go. Actually, I need to grab my shampoo and conditioner. Thank you for the reminder. I need to fold my laundry that has been clean. That's like really the last thing I need to do. Um, so that I could put my dirty laundry into my laundry basket. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a whole bag packed that's just books. Very good for me. And look, I got these cute little covers for all of our water bottles. They're different colors, so everybody can tell whose who's bottle is whose. And nothing weird gets in our straws. <laughs> this is if you're using the straw. I think for the beach, I'll probably just like sip. I'll probably just sip like on the beach because as you can see you can move this back and sip it like a regular you know to go coffee cup that's really exciting i've decided that i'm gonna take my switch light to the beach instead of my full switch now i feel a little bit anxious about this decision actually i feel a little nervous about it but i don't need to bring my full switch <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to bring it. I'm probably not even going to play this very much. So I might as well just bring my light. I'll bring my little very cute Zelda light case. It's got, you know, it's got a zipper pouch, a place for all my things. Although I have a Pokedex thing for all of my cartridges. See? Oh, look, a plant. How'd that get in there? That was an interesting development. I don't remember putting this in there. Cute. Anyway, I have a Pokedex case for all of my Switch cartridges. Um, but the case has a place. And as you can see, it fits nicely in here. Let's see, It's good stuff. So I think I'm just going to bring my light to the beach and call it. Last night I started using Pokemon Sleep. Add me on Pokemon Sleep if you want to. <laughs> uh, I'll have my trainer number down below. Today's been so long, but I leave for the beach tomorrow and that's all that really matters. It's great. I'm happy to be here. I'm ready. I think I'm like worried. I don't have a bag to put my toiletries in right now, although maybe I'll just use my what will be my beach bag i might just use that but then i i think i'm also bringing a backpack <laughs> i think i'm bringing my backpack as my like like my i'll put my switch in there and a couple other things i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna bring eon and Iona to the beach as well because i already i think i have like eight physical books packed <laughs> i'm not even joking i think i have eight physical books packed but 
I kind of do plan on spending a lot of time reading, so I'm not like mad at it. I'm just like, do I need that many? <laughs> it's fine. We're driving in my car. It is a road trip. It's not a flying trip. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. I now am going to edit this vlog. So thank you for watching, truly. Thank you for getting to this point. If you made it to this point, will you leave me a little um, like beach emoji? Could do a palm tree. I think there is like a beach scene, an ocean wave would work, like whatever. Will you leave me one of those in the comments, please? Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, okay? And please, 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 always remember, I believe in you and you can do anything you set your mind to. Okay? See you next week. Bye.